Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case you have not realized yet, my name is Paris, Paris Simone. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Glad to have you here and I hope you decide to stay around. If so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video and leave me a comment down below and let me know how y'all feel about what I'm about to say. So as you can see from the title of this video, I am launching my own eyelash line. <laughs> so I am launching my own eyelash brand. It is called Black Label Beauty uh, or Black Label Lash Collection. And I will be providing y'all with 3D Mink 18 millimeter lashes. So I know that 25 uh, millimeter have been like the standard with like the last year or two in lashes, but I wanted to sell something that I wear personally, not just because it's hot, because I wanted to do something that I was passionate about, that I can vouch for, that I can advocate for. If y'all check my channel, you can see that there's no videos of me wearing 25 mm's, um, but nothing against it. It's just not my style. So I have like a list here in my like like journal business book here. So uh, if I'm looking down, then that's what I'm going to be looking at because I want to make sure I cover everything in this video. First off, um, I have like my name of lashes, which I just told y'all is Black Label Beauty or Black Label Lash Collection. And I'll have the link to my Instagram page down below so that y'all can go and follow me and show your girl some love, okay? And I'll also link my website down below so that you can sign up for our newsletter and be informed whenever we launch. And side note, those who sign up for our newsletter will get a promo code for launch day. Okay, girl, <laughs> save you some money. So uh, I have five styles that I'm going to be starting out with, and I'm just going to show them to y'all real fast. Like One style that I am wearing right now is Kuth, but we're, we'll get to that. So just to start off, this is my packaging. Nice and cute. So this is my packaging here. It's nice, sleek, and black. I love, 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 love the black on black idea. Black label. When you run your fingers across here, it has like that 3D effect where it's like you can feel it um, like being on top of the box, if that makes sense, but it is a 3D logo. So yeah, this is one of my styles here and this is the style, this is actually my favorite. If y'all follow me on Instagram, in my stories, I know I don't have any posts right now on my actual page, but in my stories, like these are the lashes that I have been wearing like crazy. Um, I've worn them, I wanna say what today is Monday. Sunday made my 17th or 18th time wearing them. So you can wear these lashes up to 25 times as long as you take care of them properly, okay? Again, proper care, proper wear, okay? <laughs> so this is the style Lap of Luxury. Ignore my nails, y'all. I have a nail appointment tomorrow, but that ain't what this is about. <laughs> so these are one of my favorite styles here. I love Lap of Luxury. It's a winged style lash, which starts off shorter in the front and then gives you your length as it goes further on the outside of your eye, giving you a real elongated cat eye, which I love because I have like big eyes. So I tend to wear lashes that elongate my eyes because they're already wide. So Lap of Luxury, my favorite. Next we have, this is also one of my favorites. This is a more rounded style. This is my everyday lash. I call this one nine to five for a reason. That's the name of it, nine to five. I feel like this is perfect for the working woman, professional woman, career lady, but this is also enough pizzazz for you to go out to brunch with the girls or go on date night with Bay or something like that. These lashes literally take you from clocking in to after hour clocking out. So these are another one of my favorites here. And there's a, like I said, a rounded style lash. So they do give your eye a more widened look. So the ends on both sides of the lash are the same length on both sides. So you don't have to worry about, is this one the right? Is this one the left? It's all the same. So these are one of my favorites here. You cannot go wrong with nine to five. If you're a girl who doesn't really like to wear lashes or you don't like a thick lash, then these are the perfect lashes for you, okay? 
I wouldn't lie to you. Trust me. <laughs> I love nine to five and I'm a, I wouldn't say I'm too dramatic, but kind of dramatic, kind of simple with the makeup and with the lashes and stuff. So these are one of my favorites. Love, 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 love nine to five. Next. <laughs> the next pair we have here is, uh, I call this a hooded eyes dream. These are princess cut. I love these as well. On my eyes, I tend to wear these um, in the middle of my lid and it still gives me that cat eye appearance. I say this is a hooded eyes dream because I see a lot of hooded eye girls. They have to cut majority of their uh, false eyelashes off in order for it to fit properly on their eyelid. With these, you don't have to do that. Um, I do feel like it is tailored to a hooded eye girl. However, anyone is able to wear these. It gives you a nice sultry wing. As you can see, the inner corner is shorter than the outside, giving you that winged appearance. I love these as well. I've worn this style as well, and it gives your eye an appearance of just being very subtle. And you have that, you know, slight wing, and it's just, you know. I'm cute, but I'm not doing the most, but I'm cute, okay? Yes, princess cut. I love these. So yeah, this is another style that I will be offering. Next, we have the style that I'm currently wearing. Um, Couth, bam. Couth is similar to Lap of Luxury. However, Couth is the rounded version of lap of luxury let me compare the two this is lap of luxury here and this is couth as you can see lap of luxury here is more on the wing side and couth here is on the rounded side so couth is what i have on now lap of luxury is what i've been wearing couth i love because you can either dress it up or dress it down. I have them on with a more natural look today, but you can also apply them with, say if you wanna do a smoky eye or a night out, um, a night out in the town, you know, you're going out with the girls or your man, or you want to go to brunch or, you know, breakfast date, something of that nature. Couth is the style that you can literally wear from breakfast to Waffle House after the club, okay? <laughs> You can literally wear couth for anything. Church, going out with the girls, going meet bae, whatever it might be, couth is the style for you, okay? So make sure whenever y'all get ready to go and shop Black Label Beauty, if you're the kind of girl who wants to go from breakfast to brunch to dinner with bae all in one day, <laughs> that rhymes. <laughs> Uh, couth is your style, okay? Last but not least, we have another one of my favorites. Well, I keep saying all of them my favorite, but that's why I picked them out. They're my favorite. <laughs> so my next style here is Sugar Baby. And as you can tell, they are also a wing style lash. Very, very, very beautiful. So this is a very beautiful style as well. It is a wing style. I would recommend this to my girls or my guys who have um, a bigger eye, a lot of eye space because with these, with these being so long at the end, again, they are still 18 millimeter. I would say that a person with a smaller eye, it'll cause your eye to like to look a little closed, if that makes sense. So I would recommend these specifically for my big eye girls, my big eye boys like myself. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but I'm not gonna stop you from buying them because if you wanna buy them, baby, like I encourage you to buy, buy them all up. I don't care, <laughs> I don't care, but I am gonna, you know, recommend what I think looks best, okay? Capiche. Those are the three styles that I have now. Trust me, that is not it. Like, I'm going to be having so many more different styles come, y'all. Like, just be patient with me. I just wanted to kind of, like, get my feet wet and test out five styles right now. Five styles that I really love. And I try to cater to everybody. Small eyes, big eyes, round eyes, 
you know, elongated eyes. Um, everybody I wanted to cater to. So that's why I chose the selection that I selected and hopefully y'all love those. If not, then support anyway, or, you know, wait until next time, whenever you see something that you will like. Either way, um, you know, I'm glad to have y'all here. I'm excited about launch day, which I will be announcing soon. So make sure y'all, um, so make sure y'all, dang, brain fart. <laughs> make sure y'all uh, stay tuned for that. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I forgot to add too that these lashes are Siberian mink lashes, okay? Handmade, Siberian mink, top quality, 25 to 30 wears, okay, baby? So I'm going back in my book here. So um, I wanted to add like what prompted me to start an eyelash line. So my backstory with makeup, I didn't start doing makeup until about 2013 when I was in college. Before that, I was a lip gloss and eyeliner kind of girl. That was it, not even lip gloss, I was wearing Carmex, okay? That's it, let's keep it G. As I got to college, I started realizing like, okay, like, I saw you in a dorm last night. You didn't look like this. So I'm trying to see, you know, get on this whole transformation thing that these other girls were getting on. So for the longest, I couldn't apply eyelashes. Hell, it took me a long time to learn how to highlight and contour properly. So I finally started to wear lashes a few years ago. Um, and I loved how they made my eye look. Like lashes can literally, if I was to sit here and take these lashes off now, like you will see a very apparent difference between this eye and that eye with lashes and without it. It is very apparent. So yeah, I have been planning on doing an eyelash line since 2018, y'all, like literally 2018. I was just telling my friends a few weeks ago, like the whole idea with colored lashes, I have that in my notes in 2018. Can you imagine if I would have done that? Like girl, we would have been on top of the world right now. But, um, you know, to each his own, everything happens in time, in due time. So I can't be mad at it. It just really, it wasn't my time. And so I just have accepted that and moving forward, we're gonna move forward with Black Label Beauty and we're gonna go from there. So I got this journal here from Marshalls. Yes, Marshalls. And I was like, okay, this is gonna be my business journal. Any business ideas I had, that it's gonna go in this journal here. So y'all, I'm not even kidding. My very first journal entry, June 17th, 2018, okay? And I have here Mission One Lash Brand. So I've been working on this. I've been contacting different people. We're gonna get into that. So I have come up with so many different names. I had Pretty Beauty here. Don't know where that came from. Um, What else? Air lashes, H E I R. Um, y'all, I had 24K, like that was gonna be a name. My packaging was gonna be like gold glitter. I don't even like glitter, so I don't know where I was in 2018, but it definitely was not where I am right now with everything. Because as you can see, it's black on black, no glitter, no none of that. It's very important to jot down your ideas, like that's so important, y'all. I can't even stress that enough. Um, another name that I was like so set on was Bare Lashes. Uh, B-E-R, where it come from, I don't know, but um, it was, well, you know what, actually, Bear, B-E-R, is like the, you know how the dictionary has like a way to spell things, how you pronounce it? So like Bear, B-A-R-E, in the dictionary to pronounce it is B-E-R, if that makes sense. So that's kind of where I got that from. And we were, like at that time, it was gonna be like a nude on nude thing, like very minimalistic. My packaging and whatnot, I feel is inspired a lot by like Kim Kardashian, Lily Lashes. Um, I have similar styles to them, the very minimalistic, simplistic look, but still glam, especially Kim. I love her packaging, the nude on nude, everything, literally everything, okay? So I just have some here, you know, going through different vendors, things like that. So I wanted, eventually I do want to have something bigger than eyelashes with my name tied to it. But for right now, I feel that eyelashes are my way of like getting my feet wet and stepping in the door. So that's just that um, for right now is where I'm starting at. But trust me, there are bigger things coming. Speaking into existence. What's for me can't nobody take away from me, okay? Period. Same for you, sis. A bro. 
period okay <laughs> next i have finding a vendor take your time with finding a vendor okay i didn't find my like perfect vendor until late last year so probably like a year or a year and a half after i initially thought of this idea that i find the perfect vendor for me y'all i got scammed okay well I, scam is a, he a heavy word okay so i want to say i got gypped that might be the same thing but anyway back to regularly scheduled program okay i ended up finding the vendor that i have now through youtube you can look on youtube you can hashtag eyelash vendor on instagram there are us and china based vendors however i do feel that um you're gonna pay more with i mean it's true you're gonna pay more with a u.s vendor versus a china 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 based vendor you're gonna pay more simply put that's just that on that um so what i ended up doing is, is i found my vendor and i also have my lash applicators from them as well these are the applicators and don't worry y'all i did sanitize my hands before i did this video so these are the um applicators here so i got those for my vendor as well they provide eyelash tools glue everything of that nature so if you are interested in knowing who my vendor is contact me um i'm wondering if i'm going to just sell my vendor because y'all it's a money you are going to spend money when it comes to testing these lashes okay let's just get that clear I had to pay my money for samples and the samples could be maybe five dollars each but where you're gonna get hit at is that shipping shipping was no less than 20 25 bucks okay so because it is international you're gonna pay some money so if you're gonna be you know trying all these vendors like it's really an investment you know i do suggest that going into this you do expect to uh, spend money because you're gonna have to to be quite honest like i'm just being 100 percent real with y'all like it's no way you're going to be getting samples for free okay um you have to spend money to make money that's how i look at it so speaking of that that brings me to my next point pricing so how i look at it if i purchase something for a dollar i'm going to sell it for three okay because I need to use $1 to purchase it again. I want to pay, I'm, I'm sorry, I want to have another dollar to pay myself. And then I want to have another dollar to save, okay? So that's just my suggestion. Um, I see people do it all the time. That it, it's what you do, it's how you make a profit, it's a business. Say for instance, this box here cost me, the box, the packaging, and the lash, okay? Cost me, I don't know, $4, okay? It didn't cost $4, but um, yeah. <laughs> so if this cost me $4, right? I'm not gonna sell it for five so I can make a $1 profit. No, that's not what you do. <laughs> that's not what you do. In order for you to make a profit, I would suggest selling the last two to three or four times higher than what you purchased it for. And that's for anything. I don't care if you're selling hair, shoes, clothes teeth i don't know whatever lip gloss <laughs> like i don't care what it is that you're selling you have to sell your merchandise for a cost that will bring you a profit and that will also allow you to purchase more inventory okay now i'm not a business mogul or anything like that i've done my research uh, i've looked at things thoroughly i have studied um with people who are like people who are in the position um that i'm trying to get to i've studied what they do and you know turned everything and made it into my own so i suggest you know y'all do the same thing too because what i say may not work for you and what you do may not work for me so you have to figure out what it is that works for you and you only because i can only tell you what works for me paris okay and i haven't launched yet so it's like i kind of still don't know what works for me but i'm in the process of finding everything out you know what i mean so i have i pretty much have everything how i want it to be done and that's just that i do suggest that you at least sell your product whatever it may be at least three times higher than um what you pay for it that's just that's just me some people might argue with that i don't know but that's just me <laughs> just telling you what i would do next i have coming up with the name and branding so 
when I was in the process looking for names, I could oh, Bear Lash. Okay, so I was hooked on Bear Lash. That was my thing. Okay, Bear Lash, Bear Lash, Bear Lash. Um, I ended up searching on Instagram and a girl uh, who does eyelash extensions in Berlin has that name. So I contacted her and she was just like, let me know, like, no, you know, I have a trademark here um, in my country for Bear Lash. And that wouldn't uh, do anything for the trademark here because if I wanted to still file a trademark here in the US, then I could have done that. Okay. But I just didn't feel comfortable with having somebody um with the same exact name in the same exact industry as me you know what i mean that's like me um i don't know having a morphe morphe cosmetics highlighter and lip gloss line and then they have morphe with eyeshadow palettes lip gloss highlighters everything it's it's like that and i didn't like that idea so I was like, man, like, what else am I going to name it? Like, I've been, like, set on Bear Lash for months. So then I went through this whole process and, you know, trying to figure out names. And, like, I was just like, oh, I'm just, like, give it up for a minute. Because it was, like, I hit a wall. And then all of a sudden, I'm just like, it's, look, literally 12.28 a.m. That's when I, I thought of my name. 4, 4.26.20, that was the date. So step one, we need a name. So one of my, um, well, I'm not gonna tell you what the option was, that, that don't concern you. <laughs> so I ended up deciding on Black Label and I was like, wait a minute. Like this doesn't just sound like a lash line. Like this sounds like everything, you know what I mean? So I wanted my brand to be something that um, reflected me as a person. Um, I feel I'm very simple yet extra at the same time. I have a good balance between um, minimalism and extra. <laughs> uh, I love the color black. Um, I love how black is so sleek and prim and proper and just that's that's like my thing, you know? So I love the idea of that. And I was like, wait a minute, like we might be doing something. Like, and so once I started getting the ideas, I would jot everything down um, from my mailers to my packaging to um, Instagram profile pic to my logo, everything. I was literally writing down y'all. Like when I tell you the research is very, 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 very important this if you if this is something that you want to be successful in and have longevity in this is not just something you go and order get some pla clear plastic containers and then you got it made no i feel it's important now mind if you just plan on starting like that fine if you're on a budget great but if you really want longevity and you want to put your best foot out there, then I do think it is important to spend time and money, investing your time and your money and your brand and in yourself so that people can look at your Instagram page or people can look at a pair of app lash applicators or lip gloss or something and be like, oh, that's black label. Oh yeah, that's Paris and stuff. You know, you want that. You don't want people to be like, Oh, I don't know where I got this from. Like this come from the hair store, then I buy this from somebody. You don't want that. Now, unless you're just trying to get into the game and make a quick buck, then yeah, that's fine. But if you want longevity, I suggest actually taking time branding. Um, I did hit my logo made on Fiverr or Fiverr, however you pronounce that. So yeah. Some people like to be self-sufficient and make their logo themselves. I personally, I just didn't have the patience and I wasn't here for it, so I didn't have time. <laughs> So I just let somebody on Fiverr, Fiverr, whatever, make it. And I paid them, I wanna say I paid the girl like 10 or $20 or something like that. And she sent me like all kinds of different versions. I just ordered my business cards today, which I'll be revealing in a later video. Um, I got those also design, designed on Fiverr. I'm hosting my shop through uh, Shopify. Um, I've been doing my website myself. Um, just cause I wanted to be self-sufficient for something at least. <laughs> I really just didn't want to pay anybody to do a website, not at this moment anyway. I uh, just wanted to, you know, pretty much do this on my own and see how it was going to turn out. So eventually I do want to have more products onto my brand because I do want this to be a brand. Like I, I am in the process now I'm walking as my brand. Like it's no longer 
oh yeah that's black label over there like no this is black label okay this is black label baby period <laughs> I'm a walking version of my brand. And for all of you who want to start a brand, you have to begin to think like that. If you look at me and I'm telling you, oh yeah, I'm selling eyelashes, but I got one leaning over here and then one going like this. Are you going to buy it from me? Probably not because you're going to think I don't know what the hell I'm talking about or I must be back crazy to be trying to sell lashes. And I don't even know how to put them on. So learn your product no matter what it is i don't care if you're selling canned corn learn about that canned corn okay i don't care if you if you're selling weave or weed <laughs> learn about your product it's very important because y'all are going to be coming to me if you decide to purchase from me which i mean you will um y'all will be coming to me hoping that I'm providing you with the best quality that I know, correct? Because I know if I go to, you know, Lily Lashes or some someone like that, then I'm expecting that company to be on it, you know? I'm expecting them to know what lash is best for me, for my eye shape, um, to provide quality eyelash bands. Like, I'm expecting that already. So, I'm not going to just buy from someone who literally knows nothing about whatever they're selling because it just doesn't make you seem trustworthy and dependable. So this is why I took my time learning about lashes, studying lashes, and also side note, I'm a licensed esthetician. So, um, you know, we had a lot of training on face shapes and eye shapes and things like that. And also being a makeup artist on side of that, I know a good bit about it too. So you can trust me. <laughs> so I wouldn't lie to y'all. And if it's something that I don't know, then I always say I don't know, but I will get back to you and I'll let you know. Because I'm all about research, all about um, self-development, all about improving yourself. So I wouldn't come at y'all with anything without me knowing about it first. Um, so in the future, there will be you know more products um, available on Black Label. So yeah, I'm excited about everything. Um, I feel like I am going to do like an entrepreneur vlog because I see y'all kind of like like things like that on here. And I love watching them myself. Um, I get a lot of um, I get a lot of pointers from these girls on here. So it's very helpful. And I feel like it's enough room for everybody to eat because my target audience may not be your target target audience and vice versa. Um, and people when have you seen people only buy lashes from one lash brand, even if you decide to sell something else? There's room for everybody to eat. And I want to encourage that. You don't have to like withhold information. Now, certain things that are, you know, tailored to your particular brand, then yes, I can understand that. But I don't have to not give you knowledge because, oh, I'm scared you might take a customer. Baby, if they're going to come and purchase from me, they're going to come and purchase from you regardless. And if they're going to come to you, they're going to come to you regardless, you know? So that's just that. But, um, and if they want to purchase from both of us, then that's fine as well. Again, when have you seen someone purchase from only one lash vendor? When have you seen someone only own one foundation line? Whenever Maybelline came out, do you think L'Oreal didn't? I don't know which one came first or, you know, but do you think L'Oreal's like, oh, well, we're not going to do that because they, no, it's, you go into a store, how many foundations do you see? How many perfumes do you see? How many soaps do you see? Like, it's, it's plenty of money. Because what one person prefers, another person might not. And that's okay because you're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Okay? But yeah, so I'm rambling now. I don't even know where we at, child. But um, yeah, so anyway, I say all that to say. <laughs> I really hope y'all do choose to support me in this journey. Thumbs up this video if you would like to see more of these entrepreneur vlogs. Um, I can go through more like inventory things and like necessities on what you might need um, to start your business and uh, you know, tricks and stuff that I've learned from researching, watching other people, et cetera, et cetera, all that good stuff. So yeah, if y'all would like to see more of those type of videos, then let me know down below and I'll do the best I can to get back to y'all. And I appreciate y'all for watching. I hope y'all decide to stick with me on this journey. And yeah, make sure you sign up for our newsletter down below. The link to my website is in the description bar. So make sure you check it before you leave from up out of here, okay? Sign up for the newsletter and turn on your post notifications so you can see when I upload because I will be back talking about Black Label Beauty. Follow us on Instagram. 
follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Link will also be down below. And I will see y'all in my next video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I know this is a very long video, but I'm so, 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 so sorry. Okay? So sorry. But I will see y'all in my next one. And until then, bye.